All right, so we're gonna be working toward a one-legged crow today. So keep in mind, this class is definitely gonna be a bit more core intensive and definitely get quite a bit into the upper body. A lot of work with the shoulders, your bent arm strength, the back of line of the body as well, and definitely getting into the glutes, so just be ready for all that. Um, the first demonstration I have here is to go toward the one-legged crow itself, and we're gonna enter this in from just a regular crow. Now, if you're struggling to hold on to your crow, don't worry too much about the one-legged crow. Just try to move into it a little bit, just slightly. You can scale this up, keep in mind. But your one-legged crow is much, much harder than your regular crow. So what's going to happen from here is you're going to come into a forward fold right away, both hands down. Bring the knees to the arms. Just come into your regular crow here to start. Grip with your fingers. Look forward. Try to keep your hips high in the air. And as you lean, lift your feet together, toes to touch. Now, it's best if you can actually bring the feet up as well. And the more vertical you are on this shape, the better you're going to be as far as coming into further balancing. So if you want to take this toward the one-legged crow, I'll cue which side, but I'm going to lean over to my right. You can lift one knee, maybe set it back down. If you can keep the knee lifted, see about squeezing both legs together the opposite side. If you can take it further, go slow, but maybe extend your free leg up and back. And it takes a surprising amount of strength to pull that off. The first few times you do it, it's a bit of a shock. Um, you may come down to the floor. It's usually not that big a deal, not too tragic, not too much of a crash landing, but work as best you can. See how far you're able to go with things. And if you come into crow, and just want to play around, it is enough to come into the shape and just shift your weight to the side and see if you can just lift back and forth a couple times, pulling one knee up. It takes a lot of compression and a lot of core strength to get to that point. And you have to hold the tension in your hands and through your arms to keep yourself balanced the whole time. So there's a lot more going on in this pose than it looks. It doesn't look a whole lot different than your regular crow, but just be ready for how hard it's gonna be and just work it as best you can. Even just chipping into this a little bit is going to pay off over time. So just feel things out. We'll move through the vinyasa from there. That'll be at the, at the very end of the sequence. Now at the very beginning here, just to, just to give you a little bit of heads up, there's gonna be a few hops. So we're going to take this from your downward facing dog and eventually you're going to have one leg up in the air. Keep that leg straight. Lock the knee, tense up your thigh, reach for the big toe. Lower the hips, your hips are squared so you should feel the lift in the glutes on that lifted leg side. And then from here, you're just going to bend the base knee, look forward toward your hands and just hop back and forth. And if you look at my bottom foot, it doesn't even have to come up that, that high in the air to take it back and forth. And this is fine. If you want to get a little bit more toward inversion, you can go to the other extreme, hop with your hips over your shoulders. But again, keep it under control and keep your lifted leg straight. And eventually we'll end up at the front of the mat. So just work that as best you can and see how far you want to go with things today. So all that said, let's go ahead and get the start on our backs. So just bring yourself all the way down to the mat. And once you're down, I'm going to recommend that you set this up with your feet on the floor a little wider than your hips. Lean your knees in towards center. This is going to help release your low back more fully to the mat. And then arms out to your side somewhere, palms open toward the ceiling. You could have your hands past your head, or maybe bring the elbows down closer to your waist. But whatever you choose here, let your shoulders sink down, let your chest open up. And then just close your eyes. So just give yourself a moment to settle in like this, let your mind quiet down. And then just start to deepen your breathing here. So with the inhales, pulling as much air as you can, fill up your lungs, hold on to all that breath at the top. And then when you exhale, constrict the back of your throat. So slow your breath down on the way back out. And just work to make your exhales last at least as long as your inhales as you breathe. And just keep breathing with this to begin. Now when you're ready here, take a deep inhale. And when you exhale, just open your eyes. And just take things slow. With your next inhale, reach your arms out long past your head. And then with the exhale, just bring your arms down to your sides. Inhale, reach us out long. Exhale, arms to your sides. Inhale, reach us out long. Exhale, arms to your sides again. Inhale, reach us out long. 
And now with the exhale, this time bring your arms down, but curl up as well. Lift your head, lift your shoulders, stay lifted here. Belly pulled in, low back down. And let's just take things back and forth from here. So with your next inhale, roll this out. And then with the exhale, curl this forward, stretch to your fingertips. Inhale, roll this out long. And then with the exhale, curl forward again. Inhale, roll this out. Now with the exhale, curl and stay lifted this time. Belly pulled in, low back on the floor. Keep looking forward. Now keep your shoulders pulling forward. Stretch to your fingertips. And want to stay lifted. Now if this is too much and you need some support from your neck, you can always bring your hands behind your head. But if you're going to reach, be sure you stay reaching. The shoulders stay up. Now from here, just bring the knees in toward your chest. And then one by one with your legs, extend your right leg forward straight as you can. Keep your left knee pulled in. And then switch it out. Right knee pulls in, left leg straight. And then just keep on switching back and forth like this. Keep your belly pulled in. Keep your low back down. And keep bringing your shoulders forward. So keep that curl. It's supposed to burn. Keep in mind, look for the burn. And just keep your move moving steady. Don't have to take it too fast. Now, as you're moving, check in. And try to go through both extremes. Straighten your legs fully. And then pulling your knee in as close as you can as you go back and forth. Still with the low back on the floor, still with the shoulders pulling forward. And then the next time you pull the right knee and keep that right knee close, keep your left leg straight and keep looking forward. Now with your straight left leg, let's pulse here, bouncing into the heel. On my count, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then switch, pull your left knee and extend the right leg forward. Keep that right leg straight and then pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now bring both knees in. Take hold of your knees. Relax your head to the floor. Now just give yourself a moment here. Squeeze everything down. Now you can pull the knees out wide. Rock, to side, rock side to side if you like. But then bring this back into center if you're still moving side to side. With your next inhale, reach your arms out long past your head. And just stay reaching. Now keep your shoulders on the floor, backs of the hands down as well. Keep your gaze up high. And then extend both legs straight up toward the ceiling. Now straighten your legs as best you can. So tense up your thighs, lock your knees, point the feet, reach up to your toes. And if your hamstrings are tight, if you need to bend the knees, that's fine. Just minimize the bend. And then from here to take this back and forth, keep your shoulders grounded. Bring your right big toe as close to your head as you can. Pull in and keep that right leg straight. And then extend your left leg away from you. Straighten out, keeping that left heel up off the floor. And this is basically an active split that you're moving into with the position of the legs. Switch this out back and forth. Pull the left foot in, right leg forward. And then switch this again. And just take this back and forth at your own pace. Now you can go faster or go slower, but keep your low back down. Now keep the arms engaged, shoulders down, press your hands into the floor, and just try to keep a steady movement between your legs. Now if you can take it a little bit further and think about it here, try to rotate your big toes in towards center just a little bit. Keep your inner thighs engaged. And then the next time you bring your left foot close to your head, just bring both legs back up to vertical. And then bend the elbows and bring the elbows out to your side. So the elbows are in line with the shoulders. Press the shoulders down to the floor. And then still reaching and trying to keep your legs as straight as you can. Bring the feet out to the sides as wide as possible here. And again, keep your legs as straight as you can. Now just scissor the legs back and forth. And reverse the cross as you're moving. And try to move through as wide a range as you can. Belly pulled in, low back down. Keep your shoulders grounded as well. And just take this through whatever pace you're comfortable with to try to keep it steady. And then go ahead, slow this down. Bring the legs side by side, back up to vertical again. And then once the legs are vertical, go ahead and maybe keep the elbows bent. Maybe reach your arms fully out right and left, but keep your shoulders down. And we'll start twisting from here. Now keep your legs as straight as you can, but lower your legs toward the right side. You don't have to go too deep. Just feel the weight of the twist. And then bring the legs up through center. And let them sink down toward the left. And again, you don't have to go too far. Bring the legs back through center. Let them sink down to the right. Control the twist. Keep your shoulders down. And then up through center. Let your legs sink down to the left side again and just feel this out. 
Now one more round, bring the legs through center, but this time bend the right knee. Keep your left leg as straight as you can. Now bring your legs down to the right as low as you can without the right leg releasing to the floor. Both shoulders down, look over to the left, just hold here for a moment, feel the twist. And then go ahead and switch this out. Come through center, bend your left knee, right leg as straight as you can, let the legs sink to the left and look over to the right. Both shoulders down, keep that left leg off the floor, just hold your twist. And then just bring it back up to center, take an inhale. And with the exhale, just bring your feet down to the floor. And once your feet are down, just shake the legs out a little bit. And then bring your arms down to your sides. We're going to set this up for a couple variations of bridge. So feet and knees about hips with distance apart. Bring the heels in close. So you start with your low back basically flat. Palms down, gaze up high. Now we'll take it back and forth. And each time you lift the hips, you're going to reach long past your head as well. And we'll take it back and forth like that. So with an inhale, press into the feet, squeeze your glutes, reach past your head as you come up. And then with the exhale, roll back down and bring your arms to your sides. Inhale, lift this up and reach again, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, roll this back down. Inhale, lift and reach. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up and reach. Exhale, bring it back down. And then inhale, lift and reach one more time and hold here. Now keep your glutes squeezing, keep your hips pressing high, shoulders stay down. Dig into your heels, lift your toes up off the floor, and try to pull the heels back toward your shoulders, engage more tension through the back line of your body. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just roll back down, bring the arms back down to your sides. And we're going to take it up again on a slightly different variation here. So start with your feet about hips with distance apart with the heels close. And then slide your right foot away from you about one foot's length. So the feet are going to be staggered just a bit. Let's take it up and down like this. So with an inhale, press into your feet, lift your hips, keep your arms at your sides this time. And then with the exhale, just roll back down. Inhale, lift your hips up, squeeze your glutes. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, press this up high. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, lift your hips up again, and then exhale, lower. Now inhale, press up one more time, hold here. Now keep your glutes squeezing, keep your heels pressing down, keep breathing. Take it further, reach your right arm up toward the ceiling, and then twist, reach the right arm across your body, hips still pressing high, and especially feel that in the glutes on the right side, keep breathing. And then slowly bring everything back down, roll back to the floor. Let's switch it out. So to reset, just bring the feet in close. Feet, hips width, heels close to your seat. And then slide your left foot away from you about one foot's length. And don't worry about being precise here. Let's take this up and down. With an inhale, press your hips up high, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, roll back down. Inhale, lift your hips up again. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press this up high. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, lift your hips up again. And then exhale, lower. Now inhale, press up one more time and hold this time. Keep your glutes squeezing, just keep lifting. And to take it further, reach your left arm high. And then twist, reach your left arm over the right. Keep the glutes engaged, especially on that left side. Keep breathing. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, back to center, bring everything down. And then once you're down, bring your knees to your chest, your hands to your knees again, squeeze in. Curl into this. Lift your head, lift your shoulders, bring your nose close to your knees. And then when you're ready, cross at the ankles, roll forward to a seat. Come further to your hands in all fours. And once you're in all fours, give yourself a moment here, move around. So stretch your hands, stretch your fingers, let the shoulders and hips just move from side to side, loosen things up. And just feel this out. Notice where you're loose and where you're tight. And then bring yourself back into center in all fours. Now, as wrists meet the shoulders, knees into your hips to start. And we'll take this into the wrist. So go ahead and keep the palms facing down, but rotate your fingertips to the side and then in toward your knees. And come as far as you can in both side, with both hands. Now, dig your fingertips into the floor, grip, and press your spine up toward the ceiling. Now, just keep your spine lifted like this and just start out swaying your shoulders side to side. Feel out the stretch, let it move through the wrists and up into your forearms. Now to take it further from here, just come into center, keep your spine lifted, keep your arms straight and keep that grip. But then step the right foot back, step it to the left, touch your big toe down to the floor. And then go back and forth diagonally here. Bring that right foot up and to the right and just touch your heel down. And then extend your leg back and across. Up and to the right side again. And then back and across. Up and to the right one more time. 
back and across one more time. And then set your right knee back down. Keep gripping with your fingers. Do the same on the other side. Step the left foot back, but over to the right. Touch your big toe to the floor. And then bring that leg up and the left. Touch your heel down. And then extend back and across. Left foot up and to the left. And then back and across again. Up and to the left side. And then back and across one more time. And then go bring your left knee down and come back up onto your fingertips. Walk the hands in close. Now one more stretch from here. Bring your knees and your feet together here to start. Hands forward of the knees about one hand's length. Now flip your hands over. Backs of the hands down. Palms facing up. The fingertips point toward your midline. And just feel this out here. Now flatten your hands as best you can. Spread the fingers wide. Press your fingertips down like you're clawing the backs of the hands down into the floor. And maybe just move side to side to adjust from here. Now, this is definitely a more intense stretch for most people. Let it move through the backs of the hands, into the wrists, up into the forearms. And if you just want to stay here and this is intense enough, that's fine. But if you can go further, bend the elbows and bring the right elbow down to the floor. And then come back up to straight. And then do the same to the left. And come back up. And just keep taking it side to side. Now, each time you come back up the center, try to straighten your arms a little bit further. Keep the hands tense. Keep your fingertips pressing down. Just breathe with this. And then just give that another round. So try to finish this with the left elbow down before you come back up to center. And then from center, just hold here. Straighten your arms as much as you can to start leaning your shoulders forward. Now, if you wanted to stay here, this is fine. Keep the tension in your fingertips. Now, if you can take it further, shoulders forward, pull the elbows toward each other underneath just a little bit. Or you can go deep if you like. And then as you hold this, the legs should be together already. Just keep the arms as they are, the fingertips pressing down, and bring the right knee down past your left leg. Now, squeeze your legs together, maybe sink down a little bit further. And then come back to center with the knees side by side. Keep your elbows bent and do the same on the other side. Left knee past your right leg. Squeeze, bend the elbows, maybe sink down further. And then come back to center, knees side by side, and then come up onto the fingertips and release this. Come down to sitting on your heels. And take a moment, shake your hands out. Loosen up your fingers and loosen up your wrists. And then once the hands are ready, come back to all fours. We're gonna take it from the hands down onto the forearms and take a forearm plank. So you gotta bring both forearms to the floor. Step your feet straight back, bring your body into line, and see the feet about hips with distance apart. And just find your position here. And we're just setting this up so we can take it to a forearm side plank, actually. So roll your heels to the right, come up onto your left hand, and keep that left hand on the floor. Keep your hips pressing high, and this is good enough right here. Now, if you want to take this further, it's going to be a little bit unusual. I want you to focus the weight on your left foot. So press that left foot to the floor, and then pull your right knee forward and see about touching that left elbow. Hold here. Now back and forth with the right leg, right heel to your left big toe, and then knee to left elbow, heel to toe, knee to elbow again, heel to toe, stay lifted, knee to elbow, heel to toe, and then knee to elbow again. Two more times, heel to toe, knee to elbow, heel to toe, knee to elbow one more time, and then step the right foot back to where it was so the feet are staggered, you're still on that side plank, and then come back to center to your forearm plank. And of course, you got to do it on the other side. So roll your heels to the left, come up onto your right hand. Hips are still lifted. You can always just stay here, and this is good enough. If you can take it further, press into the right foot, pull the left knee forward, touch your right elbow, and then back and forth. Heel to right big toe, knee to elbow, heel to toe again, knee to elbow, keep your hips lifted. Heel to toe, knee to elbow again, heel to toe, bring the knee to the elbow. One more time, heel to toe, knee to elbow one more time. Step your left foot back, you're still on that side plank. And then come back to center to your forearm plank. And go ahead and release, bring your knees down. And come back up to all fours. Once you're in all fours, give yourself a moment here. Just move around, breathe. All right, one more thing before we move on, because we're taking this pretty, pretty far to the upper body today. We're going to take a push-up variation. So I want you to bring your knees together, feet together as well. And then slide your hands in close. So the hands are going to be about one hand's length forward of the knees, but still shoulder width. Palms down. Rotate your fingertips to the sides. Middle fingers point right or left about 45 degrees. Now dig your fingertips into the fold. Flatten your hands. Straight arms. Bring your shoulders forward past your wrists. Keep the forward lean. And keep in mind, the further forward you can keep your shoulders, the more strength you're going to build. Keep your elbows pulled in so the arms stay parallel even when they bend. Now look forward. If you want to make this harder, you can keep your feet up off the floor. But then let's take it back and forth. Shoulders forward. Keep your elbows pulled in. Bring your chin down as low as you can. Maybe you touch the floor. Press back up the straight and keep that forward lean. Again, shoulders forward. 
elbows in, take it down slow, and then press back up for two. Shoulders forward, elbows in, bring your chin down. Press this back up for three. Shoulders forward, elbows in, bring your chin down low. Press it up for four. Shoulders forward, elbows in, bring your chin down. Press back up for five. And then take a moment here and relax. Roll out your shoulders a little bit, maybe shake out your hands. Don't get too comfortable. We're doing more, but I don't want to kill anybody here, so we're taking a little break. All right, when you're ready, find the setup again. So again, knees together, feet together, hands fold to the knees about shoulder width, palms down, fingertips out to the side, straight arms to start, bring your shoulders past your wrists. And if you're gonna take it further, lift your feet. Now back and forth, shoulders forward, elbows in. Bring your chin down low, control as you come down. Press back up the straight shoulders, still past the wrist. Shoulders forward, elbows into your sides, bring your chin down low. Press it back up for two. Shoulders forward, elbows in, bring it down. Press this up for three. Shoulders forward, elbows in, bring it down low. And then press back up for four. Shoulders forward, elbows in, take it down. Bring yourself up for five. And then just relax. Come down to sitting on your heels. Shake your hands out. Loosen up your wrists. Loosen up your fingers. And then whenever you're ready, come back to all fours. Now you can just stay here, breathe, take another stretch. But when you're ready, tuck your toes. Straighten your legs. Lift your hips and find your downward facing dog. And once you move into position, just take a look at how you set this up. So hands about shoulder width distance apart. Flatten your palms so you can feel some weight toward the base of your thumbs. Sink your chest down low, and as your chest sinks down, press your hips up as high as you can. Reach up through your hips. Hold some tension in your core through the belly around the low ribs. And as your hips press high, if your legs are tight, you can always bend the knees to let that tightness go. And you can stay loose here. You can pedal this out and let your hips move side to side. When you're ready, take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just bend the knees, look forward, step to the front of that. Let's take like a ragdoll fold. So feet about hips with distance apart, deep bend on the knees. Now let your belly touch your thighs, let your head hang, let your spine round. And let everything go long and loose here, let the muscles in your neck relax. Now you can hang your hands to the floor, you can reach to opposite elbows, maybe shake this side to side to loosen further. And then once you're ready, just release any grip that you have. Keep your knees bent to begin, but restack your spine. So slowly roll this up to standing, bring your head up last. And then just open up your palms at your sides. Now when you're ready here, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And with the exhale, just bring your hands down to heart center. Take a moment here to breathe, set an intention. Let your mind clear, find your focus. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release your hands. Now with the next inhale, reach your arms up high. And with the exhale, slowly fold this forward. Hinge at the hips, start with the straight spine, put a little bend in the knees. Keep your core engaged, move smoothly, and then release at the bottom. With an inhale, lift it up halfway. Fingertips still forward to your shins, lengthen forward to the crown of your head. And then with the exhale, just bring your hands to the mat, let's step it back to high plank. Find your shape, receive the shoulders, palms pressed to the floor, prompt. And press the floor away from you and press your spine up toward the ceiling. Keep that lift. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, bring your shoulders forward as the elbows bend. Now keep your body in line, elbows pulled into your sides and lower with control all the way down into your belly. Now once you're down, flatten the feet up behind you, hands under the shoulders, elbows into your sides. Let's take it up and down through low cobra. With an inhale, just peel up your head, neck, and chest. Exhale, roll this back down. Inhale, peel this up again. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, peel up one more time. Now just stay lifted here. Keep the lift in the upper body. Press into your feet. Take some more all the way out of your hands. Elbows at your sides. Pull the shoulders back. Keep your gaze forward. Lift up a little bit higher. Now I want you to stay lifted. Bring your hands down and slide them forward. We're going to take this into Sphinx. So forearms parallel, palms down. Just see if the elbows are underneath your shoulders. And then just take a moment to engage this. So kick your feet and kick down into the floor. Squeeze your glutes, keep the hips pressing down. Grip the floor with your fingers. Now pull your chest forward between your arms. Keep your gaze forward, crown of the head toward the ceiling. And this could be enough right here. You can stay like this. Now if you can take it further, reach your right arm forward and up and lift your left foot at the same time. And then come back into center. Left arm forward and up, lift the right foot as well. And then come back down. Right arm reaches, left foot lifts. Back to center here. Left arm reaches, right foot lifts. 
and back to center. Right arm reaches one more time, left foot lifts. Back to center here. Left arm forward, lift the right foot, and then come back to center. Now still, press in your hands, dig your fingertips down, kick your feet into the floor, keep your glutes engaged. And if you want to take it further, draw your chest forward, and maybe start to lift the elbows a little bit. Maybe further, but pull your spine forward, up and out of the pelvis as you move deeper into the bend. And then slowly from here, bring your elbows back down. Slide your hands back in and bring your chin down to the mat. Now hands underneath the shoulders, elbows in at your sides. We're going to take it to upward facing dog. So when you're ready, with an inhale, straighten your arms. Now pull your chest forward. Let your hips hang. Stay on the tops of your feet. Keep your legs active. Work to lift your knees up from the mat. Take it further. Kick your feet down. Squeeze your glutes. And stay lifted through the arms. Lift up to the shoulders. Keep your neck long. Keep your chest pulling forward here. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, pull your belly in. Hips up high back to down dog. Paddle out. Let your hips move side to side. Now from your down dog, inhale the right leg high behind you. And move into a scorpion dog. Bend your right knee, hang your right foot left. Just feel your body twist for a moment. Inhale, straighten the right leg through like a dog. Exhale, forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, twist, knee to left elbow. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow one more time. Inhale, the right leg high. And then come back to down dog, right foot on the floor. Inhale, your left leg high. Now keep your left leg lifted, keep it straight. So straighten the leg as best you can, lock the knee, tense up your thigh, point the foot, reach to the big toe. Lower your left hip, feel this in the glutes. Now look forward toward your hands, just bend the right knee, feel your hips move straight up and down. And let's go back and forth. Press into the right foot, hop this forward. Press into your right foot, hop it back. Press into your right foot, hop this forward again. Press into your right foot, hop it back. Press into the right foot, hop forward one more time. And then step your left foot down between your hands. Slide the right foot back, low lunge. And we're going to take a dance's bridge from here. Right hand's your base. Now roll to the outside edge of the right foot. Left foot steps behind your right leg. Sink down. With an inhale, press your hips up high. Reach your left arm. Now keep your glutes squeezing. Keep your hips lifting. You can stack the shoulders like side plank. Or maybe open your chest toward the ceiling. More of a back bend. But stay lifted. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, come back down. Left hand forward, left foot forward, low lunge. Left foot to your base, right knee to your chest, curl in. Take hold of your right knee, and let's bring this all the way up to vertical. Now once you're up, just take a moment, slow your breathing down, press on your left big toe. And then when you're ready, bring your hands to your low back. Now palms open, fingers spread wide, shoulders back, keep the elbows pulled out wide. And then take your legs into an eagle bind. Cross your legs together tight. Now squeeze your legs, sink down. And feel this in the hips. You can always touch that right foot to the floor. Keep your shoulders pulled back, but if you can take it further, maybe hinge from the hips. And keep the gaze forward. Bring your belly down toward your thighs. Take this to where you can. Now with your next inhale, bring yourself all the way upright with the right knee lifted. And switch this out. Set your right foot down. Bring yourself to standing with your left knee high. Now once you're stable here, we're going to hinge back and forth. So put a little bit on the right knee. And just take it back and forth. Hinge from the right hip. Left leg extends straight. Bring your body in the line toward your warrior three. Maybe down toward parallel, but take it to where you can. And then come back up the vertical with your left knee lifted. Again, like that. Hinge from the right hip. Keep a little bend the knee. Extend your left leg straight back. Bring everything into line. Come down as low as you can. And then back up the vertical with your left knee high. Just take it slow. One more time. Hinge from the right hip. Keep your shoulders pulled back. Gaze forward, bring everything into one straight line, keep looking forward, keep breathing. Try to go deeper, bend the right knee, bring your belly down toward your thigh. And then bring your hands down, left foot down to the floor behind. Now take a kneeling lunge, left knee down, left foot flat behind. Hands to your hips, just bring yourself up, right having stacks of vertical from the left knee up. Now press into the right foot, kick into the left, keep your hips pressing forward. Feet on two separate tracks. Half bind, right arm behind your back, palm face, keep that shoulder pulled back. Inhale the left arm up high. And then with the exhale, bring the left elbow down past your right thigh. Back and forth, inhale, turn to center, reach with that left arm. Exhale, twist again, elbow to the thigh. One more time, inhale, turn to center, reach up high. Exhale, twist again. Now press that left elbow to the right thigh, pull the right shoulder back, and look over your right shoulder. 
And this is good enough right here. Keep your spine long as you're twisting. If you want to go deeper, if you want to add to it, you can tuck the toes of your left foot. Maybe hover your left knee, but just hold your twist. Now, if you lifted the left knee, set it back down, flatten your left foot. When you're ready, just turn back to center, hands to your hips. Now let's bind this from above, right hand behind your head, palm facing in, left palm faces the other way. Clasp your fingers and with your left hand, pull the right arm behind your head and press your head back into the right arm. Now keep your shoulders pulled back, keep your gaze forward, keep your chest open. Now to take it further, kick down to your left foot, slide your right heel forward and straighten your right leg. Hips are still squared. Dig into the right heel, rotate that big toe towards center. And then just focus here on your upper body. So I want you to kick in the left foot. Lean back, bring your gaze up high, keep your chest open. And then bring yourself upright, look forward. Again, go ahead, lean this back, gaze up high, dig into the right heel, keep your left foot kicking down. And then bring yourself upright, look forward. One more time, lean this back, gaze up high, shoulders pull back, keep looking up. Kick into the left foot, keep the glutes squeezing. Press into that right heel and try to pull yourself forward. Re rotate that right big toe towards center. Now, with your next inhale, just bring yourself upright, look forward, reach your arms up high, and then bring the hands down around the right leg. Now, I take this toward a half split. So, why don't you bring your belly down to touch the right thigh right away, if you've got to bend the knee. Left hand comes the outside edge of the right foot. Now, we use that left hand, draw yourself further down over the right thigh, close the gap between your belly and thigh completely. And you can do that with a bent knee and that's fine. Right hip pulls back, left hip pulls forward. If you want to take it further, maybe take a half bind right on behind your back, but keep the right shoulder higher than the left and look for that stretch on the back of the right thigh. Breathe into it. Take an inhale here. And then with the exhale, both hands down around your right leg. Now slide your right foot back, set it flat, and step your left foot forward next to the right. And then from here, let's take it right to curl, palms to the mat. Hands are shoulder width, dig your fingertips down. Lift your heels and bring the knees to touch your arms. Now look forward, lean forward, just go slow. Lift your feet together, toes to touch, heels toward your seat. And you can always just stay here. Now if you want to take the one-legged crow, shift your weight to the left. Maybe just lift the right knee. Maybe squeeze the right leg into the left. And if you can take it further, keep your hips up high. See about extending that right leg up and back. Take things to where you can. And then when you're ready, step it back, fly it back, take it through your vinyasa. And once you find it down, dog, give yourself a moment, just paddle out and breathe. All right, let's take all that to the other side. With your next inhale, raise your left leg high behind you. Open to your scorpion dog, bend your left knee, hang your left foot right, feel your body twist. With the next inhale, straighten your left leg, feel like a dog. Exhale forward, knee to chest, shoulders or wrists. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale the left leg high. Back to down dog, left foot on the floor. Inhale the right leg high. Now keep it lifted, keep it straight. So reach for the right big toe, tense up the thigh, lock the knee, and lower the right hip so you feel this in the glutes. Look forward toward your hands and just bend the left knee, you feel your hips move straight up and down. Press into the left foot, hop this forward. Press into the left foot, hop it back. Press into your left foot, hop forward again. Press into your left foot, hop back. Press into the left foot, hop forward one more time, stay forward. Right foot down between your hands, left foot slides back, low lunge. And then we'll take that dancer's bridge, left hand's your base. Roll to the outside edge of the left foot, right foot steps behind your left leg, sink down. With an inhale, press your hips up, reach to the right arm, keep your glutes squeezing, keep lifting. And again, maybe you keep your shoulders stacked, or maybe open your chest toward the ceiling, just take it to where you can. Take an inhale here. And with the exhale, just sink back down. Right hand forward, right foot forward, low lunge. Right foot to base, left knee to your chest, curling. Take hold of the left knee and come all the way up. Now once you're standing, take a moment to breathe, press into the right big toe. Once you're balanced, hands to your low back. Palms open, fingers spread wide, shoulders pulled back, elbows wide. And then take your legs into an eagle bind. Left leg crosses tightly over the right. Now squeeze your legs together, sink down. You can always touch that left foot to the floor if you need the support. Keep your shoulders pulled back. 
And if you can take it deeper, keep the gaze forward, but maybe hinge from the hips. And you can bring your belly down toward touching your thighs. Take it the way you can. Now with your next inhale, bring yourself upright. Press into the right foot, lift your left knee. Switch this out, left foot to base. Come to standing with the right knee high. Now once you got your balance here, we're gonna go back and forth hinging again. Keep a little bend the left knee this time and keep your shoulders pulled back. Now hinge from the left hip, right leg extends straight back. Maybe come down toward parallel, but keep your hips level, keep your gaze forward. And then go slow, bring yourself upright, right knee high. Hinge from the left hip, keep a little bend that knee. Extend the right leg back, keep your shoulders pulled back, take it down low. And then bring yourself back upright with the right knee lifted. One more time, hinge from the left hip. Extend the right leg back, keep your shoulders pulled back, hold here. Now try to take it deeper, bend your left knee. Sink down, belly toward your left thigh. And then release both hands down, right foot down behind. Now come into your kneeling lunge, right knee to the floor, right foot flat behind. Hands to your hips, everything stacks to vertical from the right knee up. Now kick into the right foot, push into the left, keep your, feet, keep your legs on two separate tracks. And then let's go ahead and take this into the twist. Now left arm behind your back, palm face away, draw the shoulder back, inhale the right arm high. And with the exhale, bring the right elbow down past your left thigh. Inhale, turn to center, reach up. Exhale, twist again, elbow past your thigh. Inhale, turn to center, right arm high. Exhale, one more time, right elbow past your left thigh and hold. Pull your left shoulder back, look over the left shoulder. Keep your twist, keep your spine long, keep breathing with this. And if you want to take it deeper, you can tuck the toes of the right foot and maybe hover that right knee up off the floor. Twist is your priority though, keep in mind. Now if the right knee is lifted, set it down, flatten your right foot. And then turn back to center, hands to your hips. Now let's clasp this from above. So left hand behind your head, palm facing in. Right palm faces the other way, but clasp the fingers. With your right hand, pull the left arm behind your head. Press your head into your left arm. Make sure your chest is open, the shoulders stay back. Now kick into the right foot, press into the left. Slide your left foot forward, heel to the floor, toes pointed up, and rotate that big toe in towards center. And then from the upper body, go ahead, lean back, gaze up high, keep your shoulders pulled back, and then come back upright and look forward. Again, lean this back, gaze up high, kick into the right foot, keep your glutes squeezing, keep your chest open, and then look forward, bring your torso upright. One more time, lean this back, gaze up high, shoulders pull back, keep your chest open, keep the right foot kicking down, keep pressing into your left heel as well. And then go ahead, bring yourself upright, reach up high, take an inhale. And with the exhale, hands down around your left leg. Now keep the left hip pulling back, right hip pulling forward. Belly to your left thigh as much as you might need to bend that knee, close the gap. Right hand to the outside edge of the left foot. Use that right hand, pull yourself further down over your left leg, foot look for the stretch in the back of the left thigh. Now if you want to take it further, you could take a half bind, left arm behind your back, draw that shoulder back, keep the right shoulder low, and look for that stretch in the back of the left leg, breathe into it here. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release both hands down around your left leg. Now pull your left foot back, set it down flat. Right foot comes next to the left. And then from here, let's take it right to curl. Palms down, grip the floor with your fingers, lift your heels up. Knees touch the arms, look forward, lean, take it slow, but lift your feet together. Toes to touch, try to keep your hips high in the air. Try to bring the heels in close. Now to move toward the one-legged curl, shift your weight to the right. Maybe lift your left knee for a moment, you can always set it down. Maybe keep that leg lifted and squeeze it toward the right. And if you want to go further, you can extend that left leg up and back. Take it to where you can. And then when you're ready, step it back, fly it back, take it through another vinyasa. Now for me down dog, let's take this into half pigeon. Inhale the right leg high behind you. And with the exhale, bring it forward, right knee behind the right wrist, right ankle somewhere behind the left. Now go bring your left knee down, flatten the left foot behind you, pull the left hip forward, and keep the left hip in line with the right, keep your hips squared best you can. Sink your weight straight down, and look for at least some of that stretch on the right side, outer hip or toward the glutes. Now you can just stay here and keep your spine upright, you can always go deeper toward a back bend. If you want to just melt down and relax, you can come down to the elbows, maybe melt down all the way. Just take it to where you need to right now and breathe.
All right, now slowly from here. If your hands are forward, slide them in close. We're gonna take another pose. So pull your belly in, back your hips up over your left knee. Slide the right foot out to the left and bring your right knee into center. We're gonna take Gomukhasana. So pull your left knee forward, cross your legs together tight, feet wide as your legs are squeezing. And then just slowly bring yourself down to sitting between your heels. Now once you're down, take a moment, bring yourself up, right? And let the legs squeeze together. If this is too much, you can also do this with the left leg extended and the right leg crossed over. Now to take the arm bind, take it from below. Right arm crosses your low back, palm facing away. Left hand reaches back. Now find the right wrist. Maybe reach all the way to the elbow or take a grip somewhere in between, but pull your right shoulder back. Keep your chest open and sit this up tall. Now if you want the full bind, right hand comes up between the shoulder blades, left arm from above, and again, find that grip in between somewhere. Now, wherever you take this to, just keep the shoulders pulled back, sit this up tall, legs are squeezing, just breathe into this. Take an inhale. Now with the exhale, just release your arm bind. Hands down behind you, lean back, untangle your legs. And then just cross at the ankles, roll forward your hands, step back to down dog. We'll take all that to the other side. So when you're ready with an inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, bring it forward. Knee, left knee behind your left wrist, left ankle somewhere behind the right. Right foot flat behind. Sink your hips down, but pull the right hip forward so the hips stay squared. And look for at least some of that stretch on the left side, out of the left hip or toward the glutes. Now again, you can stay upright, you can come in toward that back bend if you want to go deeper with the extension, or you can just melt this down and take it easy. Take it to where you, wherever you like it, wherever suits you best. All right, again from here, if your hands are forward, walk them in close. And then pull your belly in, stack your hips over the right knee. Slide that left foot out to the side and bring your left knee to center. Let's cross the legs. Pull the right knee in behind the left. <clears throat> As your legs are squeezing, bring your feet out wide. And then come down to sitting between your heels. And again, just take a moment to adjust. Both sit bones come down. You can also do this with the left leg straight and the right leg crossed. And then when you're ready, take your half bind. So from below, left arm crosses your low back, palm facing away. With your right hand, reach back. You can find the wrist, the elbow, whatever you can grip. Draw that left shoulder back and sit this up tall. Now, if you want the full bind, bring that left hand up between the shoulder blades. Right on from above and see about finding that grip somewhere in between. Now, again, keep your chest open and just breathe here. Whatever combination of stretches works for you in this pose. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release your arm bind again. Hands down behind you, lean back, untangle the legs. And then bring yourself down onto your back this time. Now once you're down, pull your knees to your chest, squeeze everything in tight. And let's take a supine twist variation from here. So just bring the left foot to the floor. Right leg crosses tightly over the left on an eagle bind. Now, as your legs are squeezing, bring the arms out to the sides. Now, tuck the left hip underneath you, bring your knees down to the left, and keep your legs squeezing, left leg weighting the right leg down. Bring your gaze to the right. Now, look for the stretch, outer right hip toward your low back, 
If you need more, you can use that left hand to press the knees further down until you feel the twist, but just breathe with us here. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just bring this back into center and reverse the cross. Right foot to the full, left leg crossing tightly over the right. Now keep the leg squeezing, tuck the right hip underneath and keep both shoulders down as your knees come down to the right, bring it his left. Now use the weight of the right leg to sink the left leg down. Feel this in the outside left hip toward the low back. And if you need more, you can always use your right hand and press the knees further down till you feel the twist. Just take it to where you need to. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, come back into center. Uncross the legs. Bring your knees to your chest side by side. And let's take happy baby here. Reach between the knees. Take hold of the outside edges of your feet. Stack the ankles above the knees. Pull down on both sides. Now as you draw down, press the knees toward the floor outside your ribs, but press the feet into your hands at the same time. Just keep the tension working up and down. Try to flatten your spine. Sink your tailbone down toward the floor. And then to take it further, you can rock a little bit side to side. Further still, you can extend your legs out against your grip. And then finally, from wherever you are, take a deep inhale here. Draw down as much as you can. And then with the exhale, just release. Extend your legs out fully. Lay your arms at your sides. Open up your palms toward the ceiling. And just let your eyes close here and let your body settle down into the mat. And then just start to move again, bit by bit here, fingers and toes, arms and legs. Take a deep inhale, reach your arms out long past your head. And then just draw everything back in, bring the elbows toward your chest, pull the knees up as well. And find your way up to a comfortable seat. Ground yourself into the mat, stack your spine. Bring your hands up to heart center. Now take a deep inhale here, hold on to the top. And then just let everything go. I thank you for joining class. Namaste.